Okay, hi everyone. My name is Jackie Vernarelli. I'm here with my department colleague, Sophia Penley. We're both from the Department of Public Health here at Sacred Heart University. And we're here to talk a little bit about the COVID-19 vaccine. So we've gotten a few questions about the vaccine and we're gonna answer two of those key questions today. It seems that some of our students may be feeling a little bit nervous about the vaccine. Sophia, what would you say to that? So first I wanna to say to anybody who's feeling nervous that it is okay to feel nervous about the vaccine. This year has been really tough. Pandemics are scary and hesitation is a really normal response to fear. Um, so we hear you and we want to make sure that you have all the information that you need to make an informed decision that's based on science. Um, so, okay, Jackie, here's our first question. Okay. I'm worried that the vaccine is too new and it seems unsafe. Oh, great question. All right, so vaccine development has happened in the same safe manner that all vaccines are developed. It may seem that because the vaccine came to market so quickly, it wasn't done safely, but that's just not the case. The FDA will only approve a vaccine for use if it's proven to be safe and effective after clinical trials that are conducted with thousands of people from diverse backgrounds. The COVID-19 vaccine that we have now, all three versions that are available in the United States are built on years of scientific research and every phase of the scientific clinical trials has undergone extensive review and approval process. In order to be approved by the FDA, all the steps for vaccine development need to be met. Now, the difference between this vaccine and previous vaccines that are on the market is that in order to bring the COVID vaccine to market quickly, some of those clinical trial steps happened um, simultaneously instead of sequentially. That allowed us to go through the approval process at a faster speed than other vaccines typically undergo. All right, so let's see. Other questions. The next question actually is about side effects. Sophia, are there any long-term side effects? The vaccine is so new. Do we need to worry about anything long-term? Oh, so yeah, here I understand your concern. Um, what I can tell you is that vaccines in general don't have long-term side effects. So there's no reason to believe that the COVID-19 vaccine will have long-term side effects. But just in case, to be sure, we have the FDA, uh, scientists who developed the vaccine, health and medical experts and researchers who are very closely monitoring for side effects and symptoms that are reported by anybody who has been vaccinated. And they do this because they wanna make sure that they're watching out for any patterns that seem out of the ordinary. But um, in general, vaccines don't have long-term side effects. Uh, what you might see are something like temporary side effects, things like soreness at the injection site or um, headache or um, uh, mild flu-like symptoms that this is really your body responding and building up its immunity to the virus and they typically go away within a day or two. That's really great. So what you're telling us are, you know, a few mild side effects are, are normal um, and anything else is captured by our public health surveillance system to check for safety. Is there anything else our community should know? Yeah, so I, you know, I just want to end with saying that getting vaccinated helps protect other people. Um, it helps protect ourselves as well. And the more people who are vaccinated, the safer that the safer life is for all of us and the faster we can get back to doing all of the things that we love. Um, and that there is no herd immunity without vaccinations. Right, awesome. Well, we hope that answers some of your questions. Our wellness at CHU depends on you. Thank you, pioneers. Bye. Bye, everyone.